In part four, we will discuss the overall degree requirements. In the next two or three minutes, we will discuss some of the overall degree requirements you need to know about. This first requirement that we will look at is the need to reach 124 cumulative units. The second is the overall upper division requirement of 39 units, and the last is the 54 units from a four-year institution or by exam. Before we begin, let's briefly revisit the recommended steps to completing your degree on this next slide. As a reminder, here are the recommended steps to completing your degree. The first step is to prepare to begin your major by completing all the prerequisites and earning at least 30 cumulative units. The second step is to begin your major by using the rotation of classes for your major. After your major is done, you should focus on the last step, which is to complete any remaining general education and overall degree requirements. We've already discussed how to complete your Gen Ed. Now I'd like to highlight some important facts you should know about the overall requirements. To find these overall degree requirements, look at the end of your degree guide. You can think of these as the finishing touches required to earn your degree. Though the list may look quite long, don't despair. Many of them will be met by the time you have completed general education and your major coursework, but it is sensible to begin tracking your progress so that you can plan accordingly. Each item on this list should be fully met to post your degree. As you can see, the first item on the list is to complete at least 124 semester units of credit. This requirement determines if a student will need additional elective units. It's recommended that you plan carefully and register for all required classes first. If you complete all required coursework but have still earned less than 124, you'll need additional elective units. This chart and degree guide indicates how many total units have been completed by you. You are encouraged to check your cumulative units here after each semester to track your progress toward the goal. If and when you need to register for classes to meet elective units, then you may register in classes that you elect. In other words, as long as it earns units, then you may elect which class or subject to take. The next important component in the overall requirement states that at least 39 upper division units must be earned. There is a section in your degree guide that charts your progress toward meeting this. The summary at the bottom indicates how many upper division units you've completed to date. Please remember, these are courses that have 300 or 400 level course numbers. In most circumstances, there are enough courses within the majors that um, by the time a student has finished their major, they have earned at least 39 units upper division. However, if you do complete your major but haven't earned at least 39 units of upper division, additional units that are upper division may be taken in other academic areas. Another overall requirement is that students must complete a minimum of 54 units through a four-year institution or by an examination such as AP, CLEP, or Dante's. Units toward this requirement may not come from a community college. A student needs 124 units to graduate and must earn 54 units from a four-year institution. Therefore, he or she can only transfer a maximum of 70 units from community college. It's recommended that you keep this requirement in mind if you have transferred or plan to transfer units from community college. This is the end of the presentation for part four of the advising tutorial. Please continue on now to the assessment questions.